All right, you guys, so look, this is kind of my freestyle about John Wick 2. For me, when I say freestyle, I mean no editing, no cutting, I'm just gonna talk and it is what it is. And I'm gonna say some things that probably will seem a little crazy. As a matter of fact, I know I'm gonna say one thing where you are going to say likely, oh, you've lost your mind, Al. Farside movie reviews. All right, Farsiders, so where do I really start here? You know, I can't even really tell you how excited I am about John Wick 2. I think that this is the best action franchise or action thriller franchise I've ever seen there. Got the crazy off the table. I told you I was gonna share something with you that most people will probably think is insane. And I'm sure for those of you guys who are watching this, especially if you are movie reviewers, you're thinking this guy is an idiot and he doesn't know what he's talking about because all of these great movies that fit in that category are probably running across your brain right now. But I'm gonna defend my position here because I still think that for one main reason that this is one of the best action thriller movies ever and think about this i'm putting it in the category of action thrillers but it actually classifies itself in the category of crime thrillers so when you get into that category then you really start pulling in some heavy hitting movies then you start talking about like heat you start talking about usual suspects you start talking about the departed you start talking about uh, no country for old men you start talking about seven you start talking about all of these different great movies that a lot of you guys might be thinking about when you hear me say oh uh it's the best movie ever but here's why i say that the thing about john wick that i really really love and that really makes me comfortable making a statement like that is how well this movie does in terms of just its pure entertainment value and how it's able to have a movie within that genre do so well on so many different levels. A lot of movies that kind of are within that hitman niche don't do really well because so many elements of it falls apart and it just doesn't work holistically. But John Wick is different. And I think there's a couple of different reasons for that. One of the reasons that this movie is just so enjoyable just holistically is every element of this film works. And a lot of elements of this film probably surprised a lot of us that saw it because we weren't expecting for the story to be as good as it is. But it has a good story. It has a great cast. The performances in it are very good. The timing in it is very good. Cinematically, it's amazing. It has a great tone and feel. And also just the world that's built around the John Wick character, not to mention the legend that he is within this world is extremely engrossing. And the film does a good job of pulling you in on so many different levels. So the directing in this film is really good as well because it does tug on a lot of different elements that you might not expect for it to be so effective in really getting you to certain points in this film. So it does kind of tug on your heartstrings when we see certain parts of this and when this story kind of unrolls, we feel for the John Wick character. But then as we are continued to be taken along this narrative, it just becomes more interesting and interesting as we're introduced to the different elements in this world, to the, to the different rules in this world, to the different players in this narrative. All of it just becomes so engrossing. And I think that part of the reason that's the case is because we're taken in this story, we're taken through this story, and we understand that this is a world that exists within the world that you and I daily operate in. But it's really unbeknownst to us that all of this is going on. So it's fascinating to kind of think about the idea that there might be people walking around out there that are following a whole separate list of rules. I mean, to the extent that so many different things within their world are done differently. And this movie displays that from the currency, from the idea at the Continental Hotel to all of these different rules that they play by. And it's a strange thing because there is a, a, a certain bit of civility in that world, which is interesting because it's set in the backdrop of so much brutality. So for us to be able to kind of see visually all of this play out makes the entertainment value in this movie so enjoyable or in the franchise so enjoyable. And that's why John Wick 1, for me anyway, has high uh, rewatch value 
because you just get pulled in and it's all so fascinating, the story. And all of the players in the story really do lend themselves to this powerful narrative in which they are surrounded by this unique world. And it just makes it so <laughs> entertaining. That's why I'm so excited about John Wick 2. And that's why I feel confident in defending my position there because I think that the entertainment value holistically in this film is so high. So guys, I have something really exciting to share with you. I'm actually going to be doing a collaboration with Anthony from Silver Screen Analysis. We're gonna talk about John Wick 2 together. I'm really excited about that. Listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you guys. Don't miss it. I have a link to Anthony's channel in the description below. You better make sure you click that and check out especially his review of John Wick 1, which is getting us ready for John Wick 2. It is really, really good. Anthony does a great job at really pulling apart a film and helping you to understand why it's good, why it's enjoyable. So his analysis, I think you will really appreciate and enjoy. I don't even need to tell you to make sure you subscribe. I think that once you see it, you will be prompted to do so. This is a guy that you really want to follow because I'm really excited about what his channel is going to do. And I'm excited to be able to collab with him in 2017. So I'm looking forward to that. Listen, you guys, there is a link somewhere on the bottom of this channel, white lettering that says subscribe here or something like that. That's always there. So you can click that to subscribe. Then I should be popping up on the screen. I'm doing something like this or something like that. It's in a circle. You guys can hit that to subscribe as well. Guys, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was awful, give it a thumbs down. Please comment. Let me know what you think. I'm dying to know what went through your head when I said that. Uh, John Wick was the best action thriller franchise ever because I know some of you guys were like a delete but I want to know what you think about that guys please share this if you found it enjoyable and again subscribe and don't forget to look for our review of John Wick 2 together it should be a lot of fun guys with that I will see you on the next video